Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am back with the Latte Panda and I want to see if this thing will run Paladins. If you don't know much about the Latte Panda, this is a small single board Windows 10 computer with an Atom X5 Z8300 CPU clocked in at 1.4 gigahertz. They claim it goes to 1.8, but I have only seen it go there once. It's usually sitting at 1.6 gigahertz. This model has 2 gigs of RAM. They do make a 4 gigabyte model. It has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Ethernet. Pretty nice little board. Um, not very powerful. I mean, obviously, it's got an Atom X5. It's a quad-core processor. But, you know, it's an Atom. It's a mobile processor. Very low power draw. Let's see if we can get Paladins to run. So I'm sure we're going to need to run this on the lowest settings at probably 720p. I have played this game one time on my big computer. It's actually a pretty cool game. I mean, definitely Overwatch style, but uh, it's definitely worth a shot if you like those kind of games. So it did take a bit to load up here. It's running in Steam or with Steam running in the background. Go to options, resolution, already preset at 720. Full screen, anti-aliasing is off, vertical sync disabled, and everything's set to low. If it works out at 720p, we can go to 1080, but I don't expect it to. Let's go back, play. And I'll go to training because I've played it one time and we'll do a siege. All right, so I'm just going to choose a random person here. So these are locked. I'll choose this guy, Victor. And I mean, you can buy a bunch of crap, but uh, I don't have any money for paladins and I don't. Plan on buying anything, anyway. Okay, so my controller's not working. I don't know what to do. Equip. See if there's any options before we get the game started. Gameplay controller. Control, controller. Well, it's showing controller, but, uh... Key bindings? Nope. Alright. We'll do the keyboard deal. Let's see here. So we're probably at like 15 to 20 FPS. I didn't look at, uh, you know, turning on FPS in the console or anything like that, so. And my shoot's not working, there we go. Took a second. No, my shoot is not working. This has uh, happened to me before on another game where I have to hit my button a few times. This is a new wireless Logitech mouse. I don't think it's the mouse causing the issue. I think it's some kind of problem with the Latte Panda in Windows 10. If I press, I'm gonna press my shoot button right now. Okay, there we go. And I shouldn't have got off, but I got a little bit of a boost here. Yeah, shoot is going crazy right now. just giving me lots of trouble here. And this is pretty much unplayable on the Latte Panda. I mean, as you can see, when we get into battle here, it's very, very laggy. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's... I have my shoot button held down right now, and it's doing nothing at all. So if I press it a few times, I can get it to fire, but... Okay, so now the Latte Panda is literally three inches away from the mouse itself because it is a wireless mouse. We'll see if that helps any. Nope. And I can hardly see what's going on because the FPS is so low here. Alright, let's see if I can go down in the resolution a bit, and it's going to make it very low. Eight hundred by six hundred. Very low quality. Shoot button still not working correctly. Seems to run a little better, but not by much. Going from 720 to 800 by 600. I will not die. Not yet, amigo. Oh my gosh, yeah. Very bad. Nope. It'll be unplayable, guys. I mean, as you can see right here, we're still at... If... 20 FPS, maybe 20 FPS. It does run a bit better at 800 by 600, but we are at very, very low resolution, and the graphical fidelity has been compromised significantly. But I mean, if this is all you got, you can definitely try. You may be able to get used to it, and I would suggest using a wired mouse because this mouse is horrible. I've had this happen in another game also with a different wireless mouse. It was still a Logitech, but... So I'll press it. Now it's working. God, this is ridiculous. Oh well, when you get into a firefight, you know, the FPS goes way down and it's just so hard to play that way. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. I got a lot more coming. I will be doing some League of Legends on this unit. I've been having trouble downloading the game. Now, every few minutes, the server side of the League of Legends downloader messes up on me, so. And I'm slowed. Like always, guys, thanks for watching.